Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to Emergency Alert Applications. Today, we're going to be going over how to use your smartphone to keep yourself safe. So intro to emergency alert apps. So these apps, or they're either applications or they're pre-installed services on your phone. We use them to indicate that you're in need of help. So maybe you fell down the stairs. They enable you to quickly and discreetly seek urgent help in case of an emergency. Today we'll be discussing four different emergency alert apps or services. First one is SOS messages for Android. The second one is emergency SOS for iPhone, which is pretty much the same as the first one. And third one is red panic button, which is an app. And the fourth one is ADM or the neighborhood watch and the SOS alert app. All right, so first we'll go over how to turn on SOS for Android. So you would do this by going to your settings app and you would go to advanced features and send SOS messages. Then you would toggle the button on. So in that picture on the right where it says off, you would just press that little button to the right of it to turn it on. Agree to the terms and conditions and then you add an emergency contact. So this is who the message would be going out to if you are to use the, the service. And now that SOS messages is enabled, if you press the power key on the right side of your, your phone quickly three times in a row, it will send a quick alert to your emergency contacts when you're in an emergency. And you can also enable your phone to attach pictures in a five second audio recording. And you could look on the right side of that picture. Um, there's buttons to turn on attach pictures and there's a button to attach an audio recording as well. All right, moving on, SOS for iPhone. It's a really similar process. You would enable it in your settings, which I'll show you guys later. On iPhone 8 and newer versions, emergency SOS is already set up by default, so you don't have to set it up through settings. The way you would use it is by pressing and holding the side button, either volume button on the sides of your phone. You would continue holding these two buttons as the SOS emergency countdown begins. And you can also swipe right on that emergency SOS switch to activate the call immediately. On an iPhone 7 and older versions, you could rapidly press the side button five times. Side button as in the, the power button on the right side. And your phone will automatically start a countdown and then call the emergency services. If you do need to turn on SOS for your iPhone, you would launch settings from your home screen, tap emergency SOS, tap the call with the side button on or off switch. And when the switch is green, the feature, you would know that the feature has been turned on. And now you can trigger emergency SOS by tapping the power button five times rapidly in succession. All right, the red panic button app. So this is a pretty useful app. You can download it to your smartphone. And once downloaded, it will display an emergency button on your phone's lock screen that you can use when in need of help. With a simple click of the button, it sends your current location to all your numbers found in your panic contact list in a form of a Google Maps link. It's pretty accessible and it's pretty convenient to use. The benefits of the red panic button are as follows. It's free and it's compatible with all smartphone devices, regardless if it's an Android or an iPhone. There's multi-sized widgets, which means you could change the size of the button on the screen. Quick SMS, which means the message goes out super fast. You can choose to send a picture and a video as well as a voice recording. And with Androids, you have remote access, which means you could use it from something other than your phone international prefixes for iPhones, connecting to social media accounts, which means if you use the panic button, let's say you have emergency contacts on Facebook, those contacts will get an emergency message through their Facebook as well. And if you pay for the, the paid version of this app, you can get an unlimited number of contacts. All right, it's moving on. Getting started with the red panic button app, once you've downloaded the app, you can allow it to access your device's location. 
You would update your profile with your first name, last name, and your default address to be able to be identified by your friends. And then you start adding your emergency contacts. All right, so now we come to using the app when you're in an emergency. You would press the red button to send a panic message with the Google Maps link to your current location directly to your emergency contact. You have three choices here. You can send an audio panic email, which is an email plus the audio file attached by tapping the microphone button, which on the picture on the right, it's the bottom middle icon. Um, you can also send a video panic email, which means it's an email plus a video file attached. And the video is probably like five seconds long. You would do that by tapping the video button, which is on the bottom right of the diagram. And the third option is by sending a photo panic email, which is an email plus a photo attached. And you would tap that camera icon on the bottom left. Other tips and features of the red panic button app. To share your location with other applications, you would press share, which you can navigate through the, the three, three horizontal lines on the top left of the, the app. To enable a more accurate location, make sure the GPS is on. If you enable emergency dial, when you push the red button, it will dial the emergency number, while at the same time sending the panic messages via SMS, email, and Twitter, if enabled. So it, it pretty much sends out a lot of different messages for redundancy. You could make sure people are really getting the message that you're, you're in trouble. And just a little, a little help. For more help getting started, read the user guide on the app. To access it, click the three horizontal lines at the top left, then click info, and then click user guide. For some quick info to get started, tap on the three vertical dots in the top right-hand corner of the app, then tap help. Um, so now we're gonna talk about using smartwatches to, to send out emergency SOS alerts. If you wanna use the red panic button app on a watch instead of your phone, that's always an option. You can download the app on an Apple watch, Pebble watch, or an Android watch, or also a Bluetooth panic button. By using the panic button through your smartwatch, it allows you to get help in a more timely manner rather than having to pull your phone out. And it's less obvious for calling for help as it's on your wrist. So yeah, yeah, when you think about it, it it's kind of, let's say, I don't know, Let's hope this doesn't happen to anybody, but let's say you get kidnapped. Um, it's pretty obvious if you're taking out your phone to, to send an alert out, but it, you can make it really subtle if you're using it on a smartwatch. And I know not everybody has a smartwatch, but it's just an option if you do. So on top of watches, there's also a Bluetooth panic button. The Bluetooth panic button can be worn on your wrist as a pendant or placed in your pocket or bag. This device initiates calls and text messages from your phone by using Bluetooth. You just have to hold the panic button down for two seconds and it'll send all your emergency service contacts your GPS location. This device is a great purchase because it is Android and iOS compatible. It's waterproof and it doesn't need to be charged. And it also has a wireless range. It can be purchased on the link uh, displayed on the screen. Uh, one thing I would recommend with this is if you're placing it in your pocket and you only need to hold it down for two seconds for it to send an emergency SOS to all your contacts, I feel like that that could have some drawbacks. Like people butt dial other people all the time. So I feel like this could be used inadvertently. Just a, just a little caveat. All right, uh, moving on to our last section, ADM, uh, Neighborhood Watch. All right, so ADM is designed for use by communities in a neighborhood watch scenario. Uh, it's an app. So if someone pushes a panic button, either with a physical emergency device or via the app, you'll receive alerts if you're within a 350 meter radius, allowing you to assist with the emergency or call 911. All you have to do is click on the alert notification to show the GPS location of where the alert was triggered and the map will update with the most current location periodically. And of course, in order for this service to be effective, 
the people around you have to have the app too, or else you're just using it on your own. So it wouldn't really make sense. But yeah, that's something for communities to kind of organize together. It's not in this presentation, but I actually know of an, another thing, which is called the Citizen app, which is really similar to ADM. It has the same functions, and I'm pretty sure it's used more commonly. But the Citizen app lets you post videos and pictures or send out alerts whenever something's happening in your neighborhood. Okay, so I have an iPhone, so I'm going to walk everyone through setting up emergency SOS through an iPhone. So you would go to settings right there. You would scroll through settings and you should come across what says emergency SOS right there in the red. Click on that. And I already have it enabled since my phone is uh, newer than an iPhone 8. You can choose to call with hold, which means holding the side buttons, the two, the power button and the volume buttons down. Or you can choose to call with five presses as well. It's really up to you, which means you would press the power button five times really fast to set up um, emergency SOS. And so that's how you do it for emergency SOS on iPhone. And now I'm going to go over installing the red panic button app. So you would go to the app store, search in the search bar, red panic button. There we go, it popped up. Um, I already had it installed just for the sake of this demo. So I'm gonna open it right now. So you would read this, this app sends a panic email message at the push of the red button to be identified much faster by your friends. We need your first name and last name. Would you like to enter this information? You would hit OK. Enter your first and last name. That's me right there. I didn't read the directions. Well, I'm going to have two last names now. That's all right, though. They'll still know it's me. All right. And I set up my name. So now, whenever I use the button, they'll know calling. Um, you could tap to add a contact at the bottom and uh, you could add from your contacts. Okay, I'm not gonna take too much time with this because it's a work in progress. I know the, the panic button app isn't as reliable, but if you do want to use the app, you can kind of explore with it. All right, that's all for today's presentation. But if you'd like to learn more about this lesson with a Cyber Seniors Mentor, feel free to go on our website or call the number listed on the screen to register for a one-on-one -on -one session. Thanks for listening, everyone.